Hi, my name's Kate Albus, and I'm the author of Nothing Else But Miracles, which is middle grade historical fiction set in New York City in 1944. It's the story of 12-year-old Dory Byrne, who lives with her brothers on New York's Lower East Side while their dad is away fighting in World War II. And when Dory hears about three whole floors of a building that nobody's been to in years and years and years because they're only accessible via an ancient creaky dumbwaiter, she and her brothers end up using that secret space as a hideout. And the fun part about that secret space is that it's based on a real place in New York City. And I'm here to tell you about it. I first learned about the secret space in an old magazine article by Joseph Mitchell called Up in the Old Hotel. And this is a picture of the cover of that magazine. I don't have the whole magazine, just the cover, but you can see up there in the corner that it's from 1952. So in the article, Joseph Mitchell tells the real life story of how his friend Louis Marino owned a restaurant called Sloppy Louis which was on the bottom floor of a building whose upper floors nobody had been to in decades because they were only accessible via a creaky old dumbwaiter. The reason the dumbwaiter was the only way up was that the building where Sloppy Louis was located was built as part of a row of buildings that used to be connected to each other but sometime in history, the passages between the buildings were bricked up, leaving Sloppy Louie's building with no stairs, with only the dumbwaiter as a way of getting to the upper floors. And Joseph Mitchell, the writer, and Louis Marino, the restaurant owner, were actually brave enough to be the first ones in years and years to get into that dumbwaiter and go see what was on those upper floors. It turned out it was an old hotel the same hotel Dory and her brothers use as a hideout in Nothing Else But Miracles. So that building was a real place. And Louis Marino was a real person. In this picture, you can see an old postcard I have from Sloppy Louis' restaurant, and that's Louis himself there in the photo. In Nothing Else But Miracles, he's named Mr. Caputo, but this is the real-life person that Mr. Caputo was based on. And the building where the old hotel was located wasn't just a real place back then, it's a real place now. Here's a picture of what it looks like today from the outside. Sloppy Louis isn't there anymore. The last time I was in New York City, there was a bike shop on the ground floor, but those upper windows are the windows Dory and her brothers would have looked out of in Nothing Else But Miracles. And what's even more fun is that those upper floors are now taken care of by a museum called the South Street Seaport Museum. And they loved the history of the real-life dumbwaiter and the real-life old hotel so much that they keep them very much the way that they were when Joseph Mitchell and Louis Marino braved that dumbwaiter way back in 1952 and found the old hotel. So if you visit today, you can still see the old hotel itself with holes in the walls and old beds. Even the dumbwaiter shaft is still there. The dumbwaiter itself is gone, but in this picture, you can see me standing in front of the elevator shaft that used to hold that creaky old dumbwaiter, the same dumbwaiter that Dory and her brothers use in Nothing Else But Miracles. So that's the real life story of the old hotel in Nothing Else But Miracles. Thank you for joining me for this tour of Dory's old hotel, and I hope you've enjoyed it.